Good morning, my name is C.D. Punger and I'm a student at St. Pete High School. I'm in the AP Environmental Science class and my question is, what is the difference between scattered and isolated showers? I mean, a, a great question, you know, something we, we really talk about a lot, you know, isolated showers, scattered showers. What is the difference? There is a, a there is a difference, trust me, especially when I'm putting together my forecast in the morning and it's all dependent upon the chance of rain. We've talked about that before, the, the definition of the chance of rain. Go to our website, WTSP.com. We've got a whole explainer on exactly how we determine the probability of precipitation, but isolated or scattered showers. Well, let's break down all of these here. So you have isolated, widely scattered showers, scattered showers, and then widespread showers. And if you just think about it, don't make it too complicated. Just kind of think about what those words mean. Isolated basically just mean eh, a couple here or there. And the way I break it down when I make my forecast is I think anything between 10 to 20 percent, I'll say a ch chance of isolated showers. As we start seeing more of that 30 to 40 percent chance more widely scattered, so scattered, but uh, scattered widely across the area. 40 to 50 percent chance of rain, scattered showers, and then once you get up to 60 to 80 percent chance of rain, widespread showers. Above that, as we get closer to that 100 percent chance of rain, we're just going to say it's going to rain or maybe rain is likely.